You know, I gotta admit, superhero pandas in space, that's kind of an original aesthetic. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas. Ace here, guys. And today we are going to play a little Pandorama over here. Um, now, I don't think this is actually based on an existing property. Although the aesthetic kind of reminds me of... Well, I don't know what it reminds me of. Kung Fu Panda, Ying Yang Yo, Powerpuff Girls, some other superhero trio show. It could be in a combination of things. I guess this is probably why it's so uh, aesthetically pleasing. Um... So anyway, let's go ahead and pick a spin. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and just spin 90 million through the machine like we usually do or something around that. I swear when we started the series, it was like 30 million at a time. Now we're just going to do eh, 90 million, 120 million, whatever we feel like today. So 100 spins on the clock on your mark, get set, ready, and go. <laughs> All right, so thank you to everybody who joined us on the podcast uh, yesterday. That was a pretty good time there. Um, if you guys missed it, we were talking about uh, Tony Rodillo, and, uh, or I guess his lack thereof in leadership now that Caesars is officially sold, and is sold to El Dorado. I'll go ahead and put a link to the uh, podcast in the upper right-hand corner here, as well as in the description box below. Uh, we're just doing our usual Sunday podcast and having a good time with that. But we were talking about which hotels we figured it would sell because if you didn't know Caesars is fixing to sell some hotels some Las Vegas assets now that El Dorado has taken over and I got me thinking about how I'm going to feel about the strip and how we're going to feel about a lot of things oh we got a lined up for a free spin that's nice hopefully we'll get a couple more of those this game goes on I think this is going to be one of the more fun games here but yeah, so I was actually wondering in the comment section where you got- Oh, look at that, guys! We got those free spins! Speak of the devil, he will appear. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, let's do this. Um, I think we can just go ahead and go middle of the road on this one over here. I feel the most comfortable doing eight free spins at three times. I um, mean, ultimately, they all just kind of pan out to a 24 times payout, but I feel like we're going to hit a little more if we do this. Oh, that would have been killer if we got double free spins there. That would have been amazing. Uh, there's a triple. Uh, let's see. Nope. Didn't get another triple here. Nice, nice. And let's see if these uh, last couple free spins do any major damage to our chip deficit. Alright, one more spin. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's get a big one. Uh, no dice. No dice. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue spinning now. And let's talk about uh, Tony Rodeo and Mark Fursora. But Mark Fursora is gone, and I guess he has been since April. I keep forgetting about that. Because Tony Rodeo did take over at uh, Caesar says their CEO. And he really kind of pushed for a bit of this. Um, or I'm not sure if he actually did push for the sale or not. It's not entirely clear. And those guys are never straight up about it. But, you know, that, what a raw deal. You get the job. And then someone else just takes over on top of you there. Like, like that's got to be the Roz deal. Especially when it's such a, uh, a pretty stand-up job at Tropicana, if you ask me. But that's just a personal opinion of mine. Ooh, boom, big one, big one. 25 million, 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 million. All right, cool. Kind of makes you wonder about it. Jim Urin doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so I think our Caesars, or our Caesars, our MGM CEO is going to be sticking around for quite some time. No one's talked about that, and it kind of makes you wonder, how is competition going to be on the strip now that Caesars is downsizing? wonder if MGM's going to try and snatch up any of those Caesars properties, and how weird would that look? Would you guys be okay if MGM picked up some Caesars properties? Like... Who should be buying these Las Vegas assets? Should Hilton do this? Uh, I mean, should, uh... Or who, who else is even on the Strip right now? Marriott's got a couple properties on the Strip. Should they be doing this? Maybe Wynn should pick up a couple properties and kind of winify them. Uh, it'd be kind of funny if they did. Now, obviously, I'm guessing not. 
Caesar's Palace probably wouldn't go. Or the big it's probably wouldn't go. Maybe Cromwell could go. I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't think Paris would go. It's a little too recognizable. But you know, on the other hand, Treasure Island brought itself back out too, so that's a possibility. And you never know who could buy what. I mean, you figure when Mirage got started in Bellagio, uh, you didn't think they'd take a loss, but they ended up getting bought out by MGM Resorts International. Those should be one hotels still. And they'd probably be a little different if they were still winning properties, so it makes you think about it. Uh, Venetian Plaza, I think those are Adelson's properties there. Maybe uh, Shelby Adelson might buy uh, a spot or two from uh, old Tony Rodeo. Maybe he'll uh, sell some stuff to, to Sheldon. And maybe they'll dig that. Kind of Sheldon Adelson, he's been working a lot in Macau lately, too. So kind of makes you wonder if that's something that he'd be into. And there go my Facebook notifications, guys. It might actually be from one of you. And it probably is. Yes, actually. We were talking a little bit about the uh, Saturday video. The best MGM hotels to our on a game up. So that looks like it's a notification from there. Alright, we're on our last 20 spins here. I haven't seen any major action. I don't think I've seen any of the other uh, games. I swear this is one where you get to shoot lasers and other stuff too. But I haven't seen the other bonus tokens pop up. And I wouldn't mind seeing one before we wrap it up. So hopefully we can get one more bonus game in here. And at least two wilds were wasted. That's a shame. That should be a big bonus right there. Oh, okay, that's a pretty decent bonus. Alright, come on, big bonus. Darn. This just is not, <laughs> this is not flying right now. That's a shame. Alright, let's go ahead and get this big bonus though. We're on our last couple spins here. See if we can get that. It's just such a tease here. I really want to get a bonus. And it will not give me a bonus. I think if it just keep saying the word bonus, it'll pop up eventually, right? Bonus, bonus, bonus. Yep, we got a free spin. Okay. That's how the game's gonna treat me here. Alright. We got a couple more spins to make a big win. Alright. And let's go ahead and go into this last spin over here. See what we got. Here we go. One more spin. Oh! Ending at that 480. Okay, that's cool, guys. That's cool. So it looks like we've ended with 639,164,188 chips. So I guess we lost a 10 in there somewhere. So that's all good. Let's go ahead and take a quick break here, and then uh, we'll uh, count up the booty. Okay, guys, and we are back officially now. So did some maths, and it turns out we have a payback percentage of 93.52%. So pretty good game overall. Not quite top tier levels here. I'm wondering about this Real Amigos game. They did a little bit of a reshuffle with the latest uh, update, so all of our games are completely out of order, so I think we should just go ahead and start cruising through them, maybe at the start of the page again, or maybe the back of the page, and just go ahead and work our way back, and then we'll uh, just start having some fun, playing some new games, and we'll have an overall good time. So, until next time, my Spenders and Sharks, Ace of Vegas, is signing out, strong hands, and happy spinning, you guys.